Hey guys, in this lesson we would understand what is meant by a right bisector and how to determine its equation. Now right bisector from the name it suggests its meaning to us. Right means at an angle of 90 degree. Bisecting means breaking into two halves. Therefore, if we are given a line segment, let's say line segment AB and we are asked to draw its right bisector. So right bisector is going to be a line that is going to meet line AB at an angle of 90 degree and is also going to break the line AB into two equal halves. Therefore we can say a right bisector is a combination of median and altitude. So right bisector is a line that is going to fall at an angle of 90 degree therefore it is called the altitude of AB and because it is going to break AB into two equal halves or is going to meet AB at a point let's say this point is C where side AC is equal to side CB so it is then going to be called a median as well this is about drawing a right bisector for a line segment. Now let's say we want to draw a right bisector for a triangle. Let's say we are given a triangle ABC and we are asked to draw a right bisector of side BC. So whenever we are asked to draw a right bisector of any side of a triangle, we need not make that right bisector pass through the opposite vertex because that is going to be hard when a triangle is not an equilateral or isosceles triangle. For example, this is a scalene type of a triangle. So if we want to draw a right bisector for side BC, in order to make sure that we meet the criteria of its definition, this right bisector should fall at an angle of 90 degree to BC and should also be able to cut BC into two equal halves. So this line is going to be called a right bisector. Now let's say this right bisector meets line BC at point D and we want to write down the equation of this right bisector because this is a line or a line segment. The equation can be written as y equal to mx plus b form where we need the slope and the y intercept of this line. Since we are asked to determine the equation of the right bisector of BC, we will follow the steps as follows. So the first step is, we know this D point in this case meets BC in the middle. So D is the midpoint of side BC. Therefore step one is find the midpoint of BC or find the midpoint of the line segment to which the right bisector is drawn. As in this case, the right bisector is drawn on the line segment BC. Therefore, we are finding the midpoint of BC. Now, the question would always give you the vertices of the triangle. Let's say we're given the vertices as B is 1, 2, C is 8, 2, and point A is 3, 7. Now, D would be called XM, YM. Therefore, to find out the value of XM, we would do X1 plus x2 divided by 2 so that would be 1 plus 8 divided by 2 that's 9 by 2 and ym would be equal to 2 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 therefore the coordinates of point d are 9 by 2 and 2. If you want to write it as decimals we can write it as 4.5 comma 2. Now by doing so we have been able to find out a point that lies on the right bisector. We know this point lies both on the line segment as well as on the right bisector. The next step that we have to do is to find out the slope of side BC. And the reason we are finding the slope of side BC is because this right bisector line is perpendicular to side BC. Therefore, once we know the slope of BC, we can negatively reciprocate it to get the slope of this line. That can give us M value of the right bisector. So step number two is to find the slope of the line segment to which the right bisector is drawn. In this case, it is side BC. So we would find out the slope of BC. We know point B is 1, 2 and point C is 8, 2. And we also know the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Therefore, the slope would be y2 minus y1, that is 2 minus 2, 
divided by x2 minus x1, that is 8 minus 1. It's 0 over 7. 0 divided by any number is a 0. So the slope of line BC is 0. Now we have found the slope of this line that is equal to 0. The next step would be negatively reciprocation of the next step would be to negatively reciprocate the slope of this in order to get the slope of this right by sector. So step number three is to negatively reciprocate the slope of the line segment obtained in step two. Here the line segment was BC. You know slope of BC is zero and the slope of the right by sector would be equal to the negative reciprocal of slope of BC and BC slope in this case is 0. So always remember reciprocal of 0 or negative reciprocal of 0 is not defined. So slope of the right by sector in this case is not defined. But if we had a defined slope of the right by sector or if we had any other slope of BC apart from 0, then we would negatively reciprocate it as we did in the previous lesson. We can just take that up as an example on side. So if the slope of BC would have been 1 over 2, then the slope of right by sector would then have been negative 2 because we would have reciprocated 1 over 2 to give us 2 over 1 and opposite of no sign is a negative sign because no sign means is a positive sign. So in that case, this would have been the slope. However, in this particular example, our slope is not defined. Now next step, that is step number four, is to find the y-intercept of the right bisector because we have got the slope of the right bisector. So in order to complete the equation, we now need the y-intercept. The equation we have is y equal to mx plus b. Slope we have found out in step 3. b we would find out in step 4 by substituting x and y of the point that lies on the right bisector. Point that lies on the right bisector is point d. So we would have taken the x and y of the midpoint that we had found out in step 1 to substitute as x and y in step 4 to calculate the value of b. However, for this example, our slope is not defined, so we would proceed in a different way. Always remember that when slope is not defined, the equation of the line would be equal to or would be represented as x equal to coordinate x of the point on that line. So in this particular example, we would proceed to step 5 to write the final equation of right bisector because the right bisector slope is not defined and the point that lies on the right bisector is point D defined with coordinates 4.52. So we would write down D 4.52 and the final equation in this case is x equal to the x coordinate which is 4.5 of the point that lies on that line and the line that we are writing the equation for is the right bisector as d lies on the right bisector so equation would be x equal to 4.5 and this is our final answer for the equation of the right bisector.